Hey, how's everybody doing? Okay, I, the news is still good, but they're not they're not doing what uh, what I was really enjoying earlier. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and go on Twitch now. Uh, oh my God, Mira's looking good. I think she's got a pink bikini on. Alinity is looking good, and she's mostly fully dressed. Still looking good. Luminizer's looking really, really good. Chicken Wing Candy is looking good. Serena Wilde is looking good. Nagasaki, I haven't seen her in a while. I got to admit, she's got like a little thumbnail, a little avatar thing, and her hair is all done up. I really like what's in the thumbnail, but the little screenshot they got her, she actually looks pretty good. Her hair isn't all uh, tricked out. She looks more normal. But she, so it'd be like you'd have two girlfriends. Uh, you'd have the really, really hot one when she's all gothed up or, or whatever. And then you got the one that looks like a normal, hot, you know, executive type person. Or she's looking really good in the uh, in the stream there. Taylor Javox, though, I, you man, she's looking good too. Yeah. All props. And then, uh, I got 104 followers. I got another one. Yeah, so I've got Chad on. Last one I didn't because I was watching the news. And uh, so anyways, uh, just a little thing. It's kind of a call to action that I'm doing. Um, write your elected officials. And... And, and I'm going to at least do this for the foreseeable future. Oh, 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 oh. I came here for string and I don't have any, so I'm I'm <laughs> sacrificing a cute. Uh, okay, look, I I realize I'm not going to get the Nobel Peace Prize for this, but I really need the I really need the string. And I got to admit, the uh, the cats have been a little sparse over here. They they really have. I might have enough, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and hit my string farm one more time before I leave. I need I need to make it a Spencer, so I want I need some string. Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, you saw it here. You can you can say all the hateful things you want about me, whether it's here on Twitter. Or twi yeah, Twitch, or if it's uh, on YouTube when I put it up later. Okay. Dun, da da da. Well, anyways, uh, Write your elected officials and tell them we need assisted suicide to be legal. And if if anybody in the and again you don't have to if you don't do it, you know it's it's I'm I'm completely okay with it. If it's something you don't believe in or you don't want to do it, feel free. But if you do do it, anybody in the equation that objects to it because, oh, well, you know, life is important, blah, blah, blah. Jesus said, you know, that kind of bullshit. Um, you can let them know that if they can stand around, and, and maybe maybe there's someone that's for gun control. I don't know. But if they can stand around and watch kids get murdered in school, if they can stand around and do nothing while people are getting murdered at nightclubs, or whatever other, because we, we lost somebody really, really talented, unlike me. She was very attractive, she was very talented, and uh, we lost her, uh, Christina Grimes. Uh, she, she had a very elegant voice, uh, you know, a voice that I would say would be up there with like Whitney Houston, 
or Celine Dion. You know, she had she had a really incredible voice, and she was snuffed out from gun shootings. And if you've got anybody in the equation that is giving you shit about it, you can let them know. Hey, if you can stand around and watch all these people get murdered because we can't impose like reasonable gun laws and that's what we're talking about then they can shut up and get out of the way while we do something for people that are sick like me or people in my category that might be dying and and we can do something to help them we we absolutely can and uh and just tell them to shut the fuck up you know unless they're going to come out for gun laws and help us stop the murder and here's the thing even if it screws me over, if we get gun laws and not legal legalized assisted suicide, I could be okay with that. You know, and maybe we can get it again later. Maybe it won't be in time for me, but maybe they'll get it again later. But if we can at least get some movement, if we if we can either get it to where we can help people who are sick or we can help people that should be allowed to live, I would be okay either way. Either one would be acceptable to me. But I think that's the argument that we need to make. And, uh, ooh, I think I got, I might, uh, I might have to get some uh, redstone dust. I think I need redstone dust. I might have to kill some uh, village, I might have to kill some, uh, oh, I got half a stack here. Hang on a sec. But yeah, if you if you could if you really wouldn't mind doing that to help out, I, I would really appreciate it. I really would. Um but that's the call to action and uh, get that done. <coughs> Cause I gotta be honest with you, the, the shit that's going on now, I think, you know, again, if and, and I think everybody out there can completely understand what I'm saying here. You know there's times where you probably know somebody that's got health issues. And, you know, you can go to the hospital and it doesn't always present. Doesn't mean you don't have it. Doesn't mean it's not an issue. But I have to go meet with a doctor. And I, I'm I'm happy. I, I am really hoping that this, this will get put to bed and I can finally get some help. But uh, here's the thing. If I go down, because that happened when I did my tilt table test, I was really starting to get bothered because it's like, Jesus Christ, I got, I got this problem. They've got me in to see a, a tilt or a, a, a doctor. They've scheduled a tilt table test, and I was there for a while, and it just wasn't doing anything. And I'm just like, you got to be fucking shitting me. You know, you literally got to be fucking shitting me. And then it kicked in. But I was I was really worried back then that it was going to be the same thing. It's like, yeah, I'm here. They're scheduling this test, and there just isn't going to be any any proof. It's not going to, you know. And But luckily, before they gave up, I heard the nurses go, and they got the data. They, they got the data. It's a top notch. It's probably got better doctors than the one I'm going to go see. Uh but they they found it, you know, and it, it it you know. But again, if if everything acts up, I don't care, you know. I I will be happy to go there. But and luckily, right now has been kind of bad, you know. I've 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 not I've not had a great moment going. For, oh oh, there we go. What the fuck? Okay, I got a dropper. What do I? What am I missing? Okay. 
Okay. I don't fucking get this. I got everything. Oh, okay. I'm not even going to call this a glitch. See, what it is, they, they've been having, I know they've had problems because they've gotten me on it, where they make this where you can auto do it, and then what it'll do is it will take your, like you might be going in there to get a, a, a hopper or a dropper, and you hit the dispenser on accident, and it takes your enchanted bow. And you're fucked. You got to go make another one. So I can, but to me, you know, they should be able to make the game just actually work. But yeah, this is what they got to do, apparently. Okay. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay. And then... Give me one second to get some of this done. And... Okay, I gotta wait a couple minutes, but um, so we got that taken care of. That's that's my little call to action. Please help if if you don't mind. Please help, and then Do I got a slab? Hey, you guys saw that. I had I had it all the way up here and it put it down below. Anyways, uh, getting into the topic, Edward Casey, 
This is a guy that was born late 1800s. I want to say he was born like 1860-something or 1870-something. And uh, he was a pretty uneventful guy. And I just want to say the reason why I think this might be true is uh, he was from Kansas, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't think... I don't think anybody from that state is that fucking clever to to do, pull this off. I hate to say it. And uh but Apparently they were, and this I don't remember. This was new. Well, it's at least something I don't remember from the past. But they they said that he uh, they said that he uh, he had this thing where uh, he ran into some beautiful lady with wings. We're just gonna say what most people refer to as an angel, and. Angels and other, like, you know, the, the Norse gods and other ones may have all been aliens that were just misattributed. You know, it's like, you know, uh, Arthur C. Clarke once said that any superiorly advanced technology presented to a primitive would come off like magic. You know, just, just the way it is. And... Uh, Okay, I know I brought, well, I think I brought some eggs over. I got to go find where I put those. And, uh, but what he did is he, you know, he basically, like, when he was a kid, this angel, for lack of a better word, uh, here we go. She basically asked him, she told him he was special, asked him what he wanted. He said he wanted to help people. And so she said, well, we'll make it happen then. And that that's the story. I wasn't there. I don't know. Um, you know, th this to me would not be that much different than the Fatima children or, or other things. And uh, it is what it is. And... You know, I I just thought of this now. I've never thought of it before. But you uh you do these things where you uh you you have to spam these guys in with eggs. Well, you know, if you built it right, you could just put in a dispenser, put the eggs in and have the dispenser rapid fire them and turn them into chickens. I'm not going to I'm not going to do it cuz I'm not going to I'm not going to repurpose that dispenser or make another one but but I got a thing when I get pumpkins over here I got a at least for the short term I got a uh, use for the pumpkin seeds 
I can use them to, to breed the, uh, the chickens and get, at least until I got enough in there to feed my chicken farm. Well, anyways, this guy, what he would do is uh, that they call him the sleeping prophet because, and this guy did not, you know, it wasn't like immediate. This guy was not discovered until much later. I think he, I think he was like middle age before he started helping people. And, uh, all right. Now, just for foxes and that, I need to, because uh, this is what happened. I had I had these guys over there in a pen, and I've done this before. Never, I think it was all before foxes. And uh, what happened was, I put in a couple chickens. I I penned them up, and then as they produced eggs, the hoppers would grab them. And uh, what happened was. I would I would sit there and breed them up. I'd get a number of them, and foxes would get in there. They they would somehow jump over the uh, the bullshit, and they would get in there and fucking eat them all. And I'm like, you gotta be shitting me, you know? And Okay, now... That's good enough for now. I I might redo it. I just want to get the I want to get the
Okay, I need a bucket. And I don't know where I've got some... Uh, I don't know where I've got... I think I got some over at the one village. Uh, I gotta go get some, uh, I gotta go get some lava. I might have to go into the nether, I don't know. I'll look around up here, maybe I got some I can just get without going too far. Well, anyways, he uh, he would go into these trances, and he was almost like in a sleep-like state. That's why they called him the sleeping prophet. And uh, this is why I kind of believe there's something to this, because he was basically diagnosing people He was diagnosing people for stuff that science didn't necessarily have a cure for yet. And like, and this one I hadn't heard before either, but the way they were talking about it, you had people with tuberculosis, and he was basically telling them to boil something in a wood barrel and then to deeply breathe in the the smoke, you know, the the evaporation that came off of it, and it was actually curing tuberculosis. And they said he kind of introduced uh, America to holistic medicine, and they said that there were things that he told people to do that is still being used today by medicine to treat people. Like another one that I I heard, like for broken bones. He was the one that was telling him to put like uh, nails and stuff, and you know, like the screws and stuff in them, like they do now. And and a lot of times he wasn't even examining the people. It's not like they brought you know Joe Blow and Susie Mescue to uh, Edgar. He looked him over. He would basically go into these trances. They would tell him about them. That's my understanding. And he would just, without even with sight unseen, he would diagnose them and tell you like these really bizarre ways, you know, for them, because they didn't know it, these really bizarre ways on how to treat them. And that kind of stuff makes me a believer a little, at least somewhat. And another thing that he did is there was a friend of him at his and it was a guy that basically you know supported him financially because I guess he couldn't he couldn't use it this is another reason you know this is you know he couldn't use it to help himself he could only use it to help other people well this guy that was helping him I guess he told him hey there's gonna be a problem with the stock market get out of it sell all your stuff get out of it and I guess the guy started doing it started divesting himself and then he, he it was just going up and up and up and finally he bought back in he bought back into the market while well, then world war ii broke out and the stock market crashed and so you know it it's a little bit like yeah the guy kind of knew what he was talking about and I don't really know. I like I said that one there I'm a little bit of a believer in just because some of the stories makes a lot of sense. You know, it, it's like yeah, it's believable. Let's put it that way.
But yeah, they were they were talking. They did a whole. They've done shows on him before. Well, like I said, there was some stuff that they were kind of new talking about. And uh, but that was on Ancient Aliens last night. They did. A, they were kind of talking in general about mystics. And they they said they found one, and they found her body. Something like. God, maybe 50,000 years ago, but they said the, you know, they, they, they found the body and they are pretty sure that's what she was. Well, this was before we had supposedly a civilization. And the other thing is, uh, Edward Casey, he, uh, he basically did not claim to know this stuff. He said that, like when he would enter these trance-like states, and Tesla was another one that that's quoted this, but uh, he would enter these uh, trance-like states, and that's where he would get this knowledge. I think uh, Einstein claimed this too. That you know, a lot of the stuff that he came up with, it was he called it the uh, God. He had a name for it, but he did these like experiments where he would meditate, and this stuff would just come to him. And I don't know if one of these guys came up with it or if it's what it's called now, but they refer to it as the Akashic Record. And it, it's kind of like if you, and again, I'm not saying it is, but if you, uh, if you follow Stargate, like when they got into Daniel becoming Ascended and other stuff like that, uh, that was kind of the hint there. Like, as soon as he became ascended, there's all this stuff he knew just by being ascended, just by being linked to this great repository of knowledge of the, all the ascended beings. And uh, that was kind of interesting. All I'm doing now is I'm, I'm, I really don't want to go into the nether if I don't have to because that's where I lost my wing. I don't really want to spend a lot of time in there until I actually go and get some wings. Um, but no, the, um, but that, it was just an interesting little thing that they talked about on there. Like, and they did, they, they were talking about, I can't remember and do it justice, but they were talking about all the different things he told people to heal themselves or all these, all these injuries that he healed. And it's just like, oh my God, you know, it, cause, and this is the thing, like he had somebody that was looking out for him. But he wasn't, he wasn't profiting, you know, it wasn't like, you know, like if you saw that movie, uh, Man on the Moon, where uh, oh, the guy who played Ace Ventura was playing Andy Kaufman. It wasn't one of those things where he went there and gave him a whole bunch of money. They were, they were supposed to be these faith healers. And he went there and gave him a whole shitload of money, and they were supposed to cure his cancer. And then he, while he was there, he caught what they were doing. It was all a scam. But they were doing it to get money off of my my understanding is Edgar Casey did not ask people for money. You know, he was he was just helping people and then the other and this is another thing that makes me kind of want to believe it. Um they were talking that uh in the end he was doing more and more of these readings. He he worried about something. And the thing they were saying was that when he did these readings, it would take something out of him. And his one of his sons said that, yeah, he was getting weaker and weaker because he was just doing too many of them. But for, I don't know if he was trying to help people, but there, and I can't remember, but it seemed to me that there was something he was worried about. I already got all the lava here. I don't think there's any here. Well, since I'm all the way over here, I'll just go get some from the one mine I got over here. I know there's some down in the bottom. There's a shitload of it down there. And then there was another thing that he talked about, and I want to I want to just divert a little bit. This I think was on the proof is out there, and I talked mostly about it in the last uh, stream I did this uh, this morning. But uh, here's the thing: 
I forgot about this. I really did. And uh, I remembered it after I canceled the stream. There's this guy in Louisiana that basically thinks he found like an old civilization. There's, uh, there's quartz, a lot of it, under underwater. And the experts were saying quartz is not native to that area. So the fact that the fact that they're finding quartz down there means it must have been transported from somewhere else. The one expert, again, I don't know how, I, I don't know, but they, the person they had on, uh, the, and I got to be honest with you, the proof is out there. They seem to err on the side of caution. And I don't mean it in a bad way, but these, they're, they're not like ancient aliens where they're like swinging at the fences. They're, uh, they're pretty conservative with the, and, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm really not saying it's a bad thing. But they, they seem to be pretty conservative with their judgments. So I, I think they're more likely to ding something for being fake that isn't than they are to ding something for being real and it isn't. And uh, the uh, this guy here, the expert, they well, the girl they brought in, the expert, she thinks these stones, based on wear and tear and everything, because you can't carbon date stones. She thinks they're like 10, 11, 12,000 years old, and that would put them that would put them on scale with Atlantis in that time period. And uh, and then he all, the guy also thinks that there is a uh, pyramid buried down there. This would be off the coast of Louisiana. And all I can say is if there was an advanced civilization there, uh, maybe that advanced civilization fell because they started fucking their sisters or something. Because there's a lot of that fucking incest bullshit that goes on down in your southern areas. So maybe that's what did them in. That I don't know. But uh, the... Uh, but there was that, and then another thing that, because that's why I wanted to bring it up, because it's like it's an advanced civilization, it's buried, it's underwater, it's pyramid, because there, there's like some kind of energy spike, and it throws off. They said that, and this wasn't coming from the guy. This was coming from people that fish and boat in the area, and they're saying that there's something that's going on in there that throws their compasses off. And if you watch, uh, if you watch uh, Skinwalker Ranch, they've had that too, where they'll they'll be on the ranch and they'll be drilling or something, and then the next thing they know, every compass they have is pointing the wrong way. Like they know where north should be. Like if I go out in my yard, yard, I mean I might not be able to give you exact north, but if I go out in my yard, I know which end of my yard is north. Well, if I went out there with a compass and it was pointing west or pointing south and telling me it was north, well, I would know there's a problem. If it's an area I don't know that well, then, hey, I might not know. But, like, where I'm at here, I know where north is. I know where west is. I know where south is, and so on and so forth. So, like, if, if you had a compass in this area that was pointing the wrong way, again, I might not know if it's a couple degrees off, but if it's radically pointing in the wrong direction, I would know that. These are things I would know. And uh, and so there, there was that. And then, you know, so again, maybe, maybe not. Well, when I used to watch that in search of, there was a guy there. He found, the claim was he found something underwater, scuba diving. And he was able to swim in there, and it was like it was something magic, ma majestically built. And he grabbed something, it was glass or crystal or something like that, and it had a magnetic field. And he thinks he stumbled upon Atlantis. And the thing that they were talking about with Edgar Casey is he... Uh, 
he basically said that Atlantis was real. He gave a lot more detail than Pluto or uh, Plato did. And but he basically said that Atlantis was real, like Pluto was or Plato was telling the truth. I'm starting to fade a little bit. I'll 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 stick around as long as I can. I'll get this out. And if, if this is something you're interested in, you really need to, to dive into it more than I'm going to be able to do with you here. And uh, But he gave a lot more detail. But the other thing is, when Atlantis fell, he said there were three historic archives that they built. And... I can't remember off the top of my head, but there, what it is, there, there's these buildings, and it's either in South or Central America, and there is, it, they're, they're attributed to this one race, and they've done this on Ancient Aliens, that they're not the ones who built them. And the reason we know this is because they said they didn't build them. They, uh, they, uh, they, they stumbled across them. And I might be wrong, but I think the ones that, and they might not have even built them, but I, I, it's like the, the three races I can think of, and I don't know which two I'm thinking of here, but it's the Inca, the Aztec, and the Mayans. And I think the Inca are the older race off the top of my head. I'm starting to fade a little bit now. But I think it's the Inca that was there first. And then it's one, and I might be wrong, but it's I think it's one of the other two that came after. Well, wherever that is, Edgar Casey had said that is one of the archives. And somewhere there you will find a repository with basically the lost knowledge of Atlantis. Then the other thing that they said was there was one underwater at Bimini, and if you look into it, there's something called the Bimini Road. Somebody has come to the conclusion that uh, there was something under Bimini. There we go.
That might be all I need. I couldn't figure out how to get one of those capacitor clocks going yesterday, and that might be what I was doing wrong. I was uh, I was feeding uh, a redstone signal into it, and that might have been what the problem was. Yeah, I don't think I can breed any of them yet, so I'll just wait. Yeah, so he, uh, but he did. And then the other one was under one of the paws of the Sphinx was the third one. And and this was, I believe, might have been before World War II. And it wasn't, some of this was only confirmed recently because he said there was, there was a, a something underneath the Sphinx there were other areas he said things were and like the one guy he was the he, it sounds like he might have been the first one openly who figured out that there was a void under one of the paws of the sphinx there was another void under or near the butt of the sphinx and there was a tunnel under it they have now determined that the stuff edward casey told us was true there was something to it. Oh, shit. I didn't put my collection system in there. Luckily, I'm not I'm not kicking out. And I I was going to walk away. I was going to, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, wait a minute. What, what's going to pick up the chicken? I got to put, I got to get a chest. Down the road, what I might do is I might put a second collection system here because I've got some of the stuff coming down here. And if I put like uh, two things to collect sugar here, none of the sugar will end up down here. Same thing with the emeralds and some of the other stuff. I don't know that I'm going to do it, but I might. But yeah, he, he and then there's other things where he said, well, yeah, this is the way it is, and then they did they didn't know, and they've been able to look at it now, and they're like, oh my God, he was right. That that is what's there. There we go. This should work. And then, like, if you look at it, and I think what I'll do is I'll pop this out. Oh, no, they'll, they'll be able to get out. I, I can't have that there. What I might do is I might put a, a backwards staircase here so this will open. But I might put another chest in there. 
And then what will happen is as these guys start pooping out eggs, some of the eggs will go in here and turn into little chickens. And some of them will come over here and fill this chest. And then if I ever need eggs, like to create another, this is what I did over where I was at, um, it will give me a supply of eggs, a fairly decent supply of eggs, that I then can use to create a chicken farm somewhere else. Or if something happens to this one, I, I will have, eventually I will have the ability to start it over again. And uh, But that's that's what we got here. We are good to go. And then... Uh, Let's go sleep. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just, this is the shitty thing. You know, I, uh, I didn't, I didn't check to see if I won. I was going to do that and I forgot. Uh, I'll try to remember to do it when I get off now. But uh, th this is the shitty thing. You know, if when I was, you know, maybe I'll be a better person. That, that I, I, w I wouldn't hold a lot of help on that. But uh, I don't think I'm a bad person, but I'm not a, I'm not a great person. Like, you take a look at that uh, Skinwalker Ranch. If everything is true that I've seen... That Brandon Fugel seems like a pretty fucking decent guy because uh, it sounds like he's funding that out of his pocket. It sounds, and again, maybe it's not true because God knows we've seen rich people do it all the time where they uh, they claim they're going to do something nice and then you find it like that, that uh, oh, America's Greatest Sniper, uh, uh, the, one that, the one that fucking made up the shit on uh, Jesse Ventura. Oh, I wrote this book. I'm going to donate all the proceeds to it to help out wounded veterans. Almost none of it landed anywhere outside his fucking pocket. Um, he, he just didn't do it. Donald Trump's another one. You know, he makes these claims. Well, then when people actually dig into it, it really sounds like it's not. It, it, there must be some truth to it because they shut down his charity in New York. And, uh, but it sounds like, you know, the money that he makes from Skinwalker Ranch, he donates it to, you know, like single moms or, you know, people that need that. And, you know, that's, that's a decent thing. It really is. And, uh, anyways, I got my second chicken farm. I might, I might redo this. I just want to get it up and running. I want the guts of it up and running. Because I'm over here enough, I'm over here enough in hard mode, and I'm going through food, and then I have to go, like, at least I'll be able to eat over here at least somewhat. And then uh, I'm kind of feeling it. I'm going to go ahead, and I got, I got more or less what I wanted to talk about. I know these are not great. I, I literally know these are not great. Um, I, I mean, if, if you're coming in and you are giving me your support uh, by, by following me or checking out a stream. That's all I really ask. That's all I really deserve or respect. I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm really grateful for it. But uh, this is why, like, I'm going to be doing it at the beginning. Seriously, talk to people in power and tell them we need to get that assisted suicide uh, legalized. Peace out and hope everybody has a good day. Hi there, sweetie. Love you. I am so glad you're feeling better. You were really scaring me at the beginning of the week. You really were.